Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. Here we are right at the end of the season. No days left in the season. We have we've made it to the end of the season. Look at the names that we use this year from Arlene, Brett, Cindy, all the way down to Sean and Tammy. We left two names on the list, but it was a very busy season. Of course, we were talking about it all season long. We were expecting this to be a busy season. You look back at some of the forecasts. Here's the forecast from Colorado State. At the beginning of the season, they put out their numbers and then part way through the season, they updated their numbers and they they up those numbers as well. They're expecting 18 name storms, nine of those to become hurricanes, and we're expecting four major hurricanes. You see the averages there. So what they were calling for was that above average season. Even though we're talking about El Nino, what's El Nino typically do? It lessens the number of storms, but that combined with the very warm sea surface temperatures, all indications are we were going to see an above average season. Then you compare that to NOAA. They put those ranges on the numbers, 14 to 21 name storms, 6 to 11 hurricanes, and expecting between 2 and 5 major hurricanes. Again, you see the averages over there calling for an above average season, mainly because of those very warm water temperatures across the entire tropical Atlantic basin. This is what we ended up with an above average season, 20 total storms, seven hurricanes, and then three major hurricanes. Major hurricane is a category three or above, and it was all really because or so much of it was because of those very warm water temperatures. Look at all the tracks, very active. It was pretty unusual. We saw a lot of activity early on in the season, well out into the eastern and central Atlantic, well before you would typically expect to see that. But what we're all going to really kind of focus in and remember is Hurricane Idalia. It was a major hurricane, Category 4, 130 mile an hour winds, causing about $2.5 billion of damage as it worked its way through the Gulf of Mexico late through August and then working its way up into the, uh, the Big Bend, up and towards the Panhandle of Florida. So just a reminder, hurricane season that goes from June 1st to November 30th. So we're done with the season for now, but it comes right back at us as we get into June 1st of 2024. And we'll keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.